Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Claire Kreft. I'm an assistant director of undergraduate admission, but I am not here to talk about the admission office. I'm here to moderate an incredible student panel. Um, so welcome to Santa Clara University's virtual open house. We are so glad you are with us. This session is a day in the life of a business student, and I am joined by some incredible colleagues um, and four living, breathing Broncos who are here to share their stories, share a little bit about their schedule so you can see what a typical week looks like for them, and then also answer all of your burning questions. Um, so before we get into that, however, I do wanna go over a few specifics of Zoom. So you may notice you are muted. We kindly ask that you stay muted. Hopefully if everything works out as intended, that is what will happen. Um, but we do want you to utilize the chat feature. So this is how you are going to be interacting with us and sending us your questions. So if you have not used the chat feature before in Zoom, you hover at the bottom of your screen and there should be a button that says chat. Sometimes depending on the size of your window, you might need to click the three dots that say more to find chat. Um, but why don't everybody go ahead and open that up and chat in where you are joining us from today, whether it's evening for you, right? For some of you, it might be morning or afternoon. Um, I myself am joining you from my kitchen table in Menlo Park, California. I see we've got San Jose, San Diego, Sunnyvale, uh, so lots of Bay Area. Whoa, a lot is coming in. Illinois, Boston, Guam, Redondo Beach. I can't keep up with how many of you guys are chatting in, but that's incredible. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you are. We are so thrilled that you're here. Um, our own student ambassadors are from a variety of places as well, so they have lots of experiences to share with you. Michigan, Minneapolis, ooh, Watsonville. I'm from Watsonville, so shout out there. Awesome. Okay, so um, that's a little bit of the logistics tonight. Like I said, you are going to continue to interact with us through chat. Um, throughout the presentation, feel free to chat in any questions that you have. I will be moderating the Q&A session, so I'll be taking your chat questions and fielding those to our students. Before you have an introduction from our incredible student panelists, um, you are lucky enough to be welcomed by Joanne Scheibels, who is our Senior Assistant Dean in the Undergraduate Business Program. So Joanne. Thanks, Claire. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We're very happy to have you here for our session on the day in the life of a business student. And as Claire said, we have some fantastic students here with you to really paint a picture for you about what it's like um, as a business student at Santa Clara. So they're gonna share a little bit about themselves and then actually you'll have a sneak peek into their schedules. So what classes are they taking? What activities are they involved in? And then most importantly, we wanna to get to your questions. Um, I work as the Senior Assistant Dean, as Claire mentioned, in the Undergraduate Business Programs Office. So our office is the office that interfaces with the academic units within the business school to run the undergraduate side of the house. So we work hard to have and put together an exceptional experience for all of our students. And I'm very excited um, for you to meet these students and hear how um, their lives at Santa Clara and in the business school are impacted on a daily basis by the classes they're in and the activities they're involved in. Um, so with that, let me turn it over um, to our first student, uh, Sean, to say hello and his welcome. Sean. Thank you so much, Shan. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Sean Marks, and I am a junior accounting and information systems major. Um, some of my on-campus involvements include being a Levy School business peer advisor, which involves guiding and advising incoming first-year business students. Um, I am also a tutor for the Drawman Center, and I tutor a variety of subjects, including accounting, stats, and economics. I'm also part of Alpha Kappa Psi, which is one of the on-campus business fraternities. And aside from on-campus stuff, I work part-time for VMware as a procure pay intern on the accounting team. And uh, now I'd like to introduce Anne-Marie. Thanks, John. Hi, everyone. My name is Anne-Marie. I'm from Bellevue, Washington, which is just outside of Seattle. I saw Redmond in there, which is nearby. Um, I'm a senior finance major, international business minor. I'm a Levy um, School of Business Ambassador, which is why I'm on this panel. Um, and this summer I was interning at Apple, so I'm really excited to go back there next year. In my free time, I really love hiking. Um, it was really nice to spend time with my family during quarantine um, and go around the state parks. And I'm gonna pass it off to Marina. Hi everyone, I'm Marina. I'm excited to be here as well. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm originally from Pasadena, California, currently residing in Santa Clara. Um, I'm a junior this year at Santa Clara, double majoring in finance and Spanish studies with a minor in international business. Um, some things I'm invo involved with, in addition to Levy Ambassadors, I'm also a member of the LEAD Scholars Program, which is for first-generation college students. 
Um, in addition to that, I'm one of the co-presidents for the Latinx Business Student Association on campus. Um, and I'm also going to be interning for Apple next summer. And with that, I'll pass it over to Marley. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marley. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm a senior here at Santa Clara, uh, majoring and in economics with a concentration in data analytics and minoring in English. Um, I'm a university ambassador at Santa Clara, so I give tours and sit on panels and talk to prospective students and families. I'm also a part of ACE, which is an accelerated cooperative education program. So essentially it's a professional skills building program and I'm also part of Levy Scholars, which is our honors program within the Levy School of Business. Um, I'm in, I will be interning, or I was interning in Intuitive Surgical and I'll be working there next summer. And I'm also interning at the Silicon Valley Council of Nonprofits through the Community Fellows Program in the Levy School of Business this school year. And with that, we're gonna go through some of our schedules now, which will be exciting. Yeah, thank you so much, Marlene. So we thought it'd be fun to show you all what a typical week looks like for a Santa Clara business student. Um, some of the stuff on our schedules go over what life is like currently in the virtual format, while some things in our schedules will include activities that we typically have if we were still on campus. Uh, so this is my schedule here. Uh, the purple, pink, yellow, and blue boxes are classes that I'm currently taking this quarter. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I usually have intermediate financial accounting in the morning, and it's one of the main first main upper division accounting classes you take as an AIS major. Normally, I'd have this class in Lucas Hall, which is the business building at Santa Clara. Uh, after my accounting classes, I typically work a few hours for VMware. As I mentioned briefly before, I currently work part-time for VMware. I interned there over the summer and was fortunate enough to receive a return offer for throughout the year. And so I usually spend about eight, 10 hours a week with them. Uh, aside from classes, some of the brown boxes represent some tutoring appointments I have each week. So I typically have a few one-on-one, -on -one, uh, one-hour sessions per week. And if we were still on campus, this would take place in the Drawman Center, which is located in the basement below our school cafeteria in Benson. So moving on to some of my Tuesday classes, I'm taking Introductory Financial Management, Theology of Marriage, and Music Theory. Um, I usually don't like to take many classes on Tuesday, Thursdays, because Tuesday, Thursday classes are longer. So it's only two days a week rather than three days a week. Um, but for this quarter, it actually worked out because I like to work for VMware on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And so I'm actually really happy with this variety of classes, uh, accounting, finance, religion, music theory. I think having this kind of variety has really helped me stay engaged during this online format. And I think Santa Clara does really well at giving their students a, a diverse curriculum to choose from. And one of the last things I talk about is the brown box that says Big Little Reveal on Thursday. This is from my professional business fraternity, Alpha Kappa Psi, and it's the day where everyone in the newest pledge class gets to find out who their bigs are, um, which is kind of like their new mentor. We aren't doing this currently, but if we were still on campus, we typically have some sort of celebration in front of the Benson Fountains uh, right outside of our cafeteria with posters and gift baskets. It's usually a pretty great time. And uh, with that, I'd like to pass it over to Anne Marie to talk about a typical week for her. Thanks, Sean. Um, so here's my typical week. This is what my schedule looks like now. Um, I didn't include what I am not doing um, given the pandemic. Um, so on the left, you'll see my major, my minor, and some of my involvements. Like Marley, I'm in the Levy Scholars Program. Um, I'm involved in off-campus Greek life, and I'm on the executive board for that. Um, and then I usually play intramural basketball or other intramural sports which isn't happening right now, but the girls that I live with, um, we work out in our backyard and I go to play basketball tonight with some of my friends. So we're making it work. Um, and then in terms of my classes, uh, I like to do preferably three Monday, Wednesday, Friday and two Tuesday, Thursday. Um, but kind of like Sean, our ideal schedule didn't work out for me this quarter, but it's okay. Um, so on Mondays, um, I have comparative politics. Um, so we're looking at political systems in different regions around the world, which is super interesting. Um, this week we were talking about Latin America. Um, and then I have world geography in the afternoon. Um, and for that, we're talking about human geography as well as physical geography. And we're talking about the Middle East this week. Um, and then Tuesday, Thursday, I have my two finance classes, which um, is interesting to have them back to back because they're actually super different. Um, and so it's fun to jump from one to the next and see how I can connect them together. And then on Mondays is when I have my executive meeting with um, my off-campus Greek life. And then we have chapter after for all of the other members. Typically um, not during the pandemic, I'd also have an off-campus job at a local CPA firm with actually um, the two partners are Santa Clara grads. Um, so it's super fun to work for them um, and hopefully I'll be back there soon. And now it's gonna go over to Marina. Thank you. 
Um, so like everyone mentioned, the colored boxes represent classes. And as you can see, this class, this um, quarter, I elected to take quite a few classes. Um, I actually overloaded this quarter, which essentially means I'm taking five classes, more than 19 units. Um, so on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, you know, my days are pretty busy, the classes back to back. Um, but that being said, I, I kind of prefer it this way. A lot of my extracurriculars take up my afternoons with meetings, um, especially now a lot of Zoom meetings. So I don't really mind so much. So as you can see on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, I start off bright and early with corporate finance, which I don't mind too much as I am a finance major. Um, and then I move on to theology. Um, this is my second of three theology classes that are required for every Santa Clara student. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's called the Christian tradition. We're learning about, um, you know, how the, the lessons we learn in the Bible relate to every other aspect of society, not just um, the church. And then principles of marketing. That's an upper division course that every Santa Clara student is required to take um, for the business curriculum. It's one of the upper divs. So now that I'm a junior, I've kind of moved on from the lower division courses to the upper division ones, um, which is nice. It, it's a, a whole different, you know, ball game of lessons and things you learn. And I think it's nice that we get a well-rounded view of things other other things outside of our major. Um, on Tuesday, Thursdays, I have a bit more of a break, um, although I still am up early with business ethics, which is one of my last lower division business courses. And in the afternoon, um, I'm taking an upper division Spanish course course, which corresponds to my second Spanish major. And then as you can see with the brown boxes, those correspond to some of my extracurricular activities, um, most of them regarding LBSA, which is the Latinx Business Student Association on campus, which I'm one of the co-presidents for. So on Monday, we have board meetings every week, which is essentially where the whole board comes together and we kind of talk about the administrative things for the club, um, sort of events we have coming up, ways we want to recruit new members and, and things like that. And then bi-weekly, we have a general meeting, which is where all of our members come together and we host sort of like interview workshops, networking activities, um, and just ways to get students, uh, get, get them to know companies around our school who reach out to us and wanna recruit Santa Clara students. Um, on Tuesday, which is a unique activity, we had a collaboration with the Office of Multicultural Learning, um, which was just a way for the club to get involved and get to know new first years who were looking to get involved on campus, even with the Zoom virtual environment. And so that was really interesting to get to meet everyone virtually and um, welcome new members to our club. And then on Wednesday, a President's Council meeting for LBSA. I am one of the, uh, I am a member of the President's Council within the business school, which is essentially just a council where um, several co-presidents and presidents of different organizations within the business school come together and we kind of compare ways that our clubs are running and um, give each other tips for how to gain new members and things like that. Um, but yeah, now I'll pass it over to Marley. Thanks, Marina. Um, so I'm going to go through my mornings. Uh, first, I'll start with Monday. So in the morning, I start out from 8 to 1130, um, doing some research with the economic department. So I'm doing that through one of my favorite professors. Um, so right now, we're looking at data sets from Burkina Faso and some climate change data sets and making some analysis with that. Um, and then I have my Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. So that's going to be international finance and finance and open economics. Um, so that class has been pretty interesting. It's nice to have it kind of midday. And then for my Tuesdays, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursdays in the morning, um, that's when I am working as a public policy intern at the Silicon Valley Council of Nonprofits. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, that's through the Community Fellows Program in the Levy School of Business, which is essentially a program where we gather students um, and we play in the school places them in uh, uh, nonprofit organizations and government organizations around San Jose. And then we also have, as you can see on Wednesday, um, from 7 to 8 p.m., um, a seminar that is specifically correlated with that internship, which has been a really awesome experience so far. Um, and then after that, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have my economics of education class, which has been absolutely incredible, super interesting, um, especially given the current um, education system with the pandemic. Um, and then I have science, business, and technology, which is another business course. Um, and then my last class is on Thursday um, from 5.40 to 8.40 p.m. And it's a writing for children and young adults class. Um, so that's directly correlated with my English minor. Um, I kind of set up my schedule where I have at least one English class every single quarter, um, just so I get a little variation between English and business. Um, it's usually a nice break from business technical things and doing some writing, which I really enjoy. 
And then as you can see on Tuesday nights, I have alternating meetings. So every other Tuesday. So one meeting is my ACE meeting. So that's the Accelerated Cooperative Education Program. So it's professional development, um, resume skills building, internship skills building. It's also a pretty tight knit community of students, which has been really nice. And then I also have my student ambassador meeting, which is also an on campus job. Um, so again, that's um, giving tours, sitting on panels, and that's equally um, an incredible, incredible community of students that I've had the opportunity to get to know and be a part of. Thank you. Okay. A huge thank you to our students for just taking the time to introduce themselves and walk you through their schedules. Um, we are now going to transition into the Q&A portion of our session today. Um, just a quick reminder, since it might have been hard to see everyone with the, the screen shared in the presentation, um, my student panelists, can you just raise your hand so all of our guests can know which squares to kind of look at? Okay, thank you so much. Um, so for all of our guests, go ahead and start chatting in your questions. Um, I know you all know how to use the chat feature because you fired where you were joining us from very, very quickly. So go ahead and send us in your questions. I will be posing them to our students. Um, and also just to let you know, there's a chance we may not get to all of the questions tonight. If not, we will be sharing contact information with you at the end. Um, so to start, um, Sean, I'm gonna pose a question to you. When did you start taking business classes and is that how it works for everyone or is it a little different for students in the business school? Yeah, so you start taking business classes the first quarter that you get to Santa Clara. Um, most students will take what's called business 70, which is contemporary business issues. It's kind of like your all around business 101. Um, the best analogy for this is that it's a mile wide and an inch deep. So you cover a lot, a lot of topics in business. Pretty much every major you'll go through some aspect of like management, OMIS, accounting, whatever it is. And so uh, Santa Clara starts pushing you right away, which is honestly very nice. It's good to get in the, the group of things first quarter there. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, Anne Marie, could you please uh, let us know how many classes are student, students typically taking? Is it four per quarter or how does that work? Yeah, I would say the average is probably four, but there's also some fluctuation. So last spring or last winter, I was taking three. Um, one quarter, I took five. Um, you saw Marina's taking a few extra classes this, this quarter. And so it really just depends on the requirements that you need to fill and also um, your other workload. So in the winter, the reason I took three was because I also had my off-campus job and it just got too overwhelming to do four classes and my job and looking ahead to graduation, I had the flexibility to drop a class and take it again later. Um, so I would say four is the average, but there's there's always fluctuation. Awesome, thank you. Um, and also to my panelists, remember, you can jump in and answer anything, even if I don't direct it specifically to you. Um, Marina, could you please talk a little bit about how much time is there in your schedule to take classes that are not in the business school if you wanna explore other interests? Well, so one of the great things I think about Santa Clara, especially as a business student, is that in addition to your business curriculum, every Santa Clara student has what's called like the undergrad curriculum, where you're taking courses in diversity or natural science. And so, and so through those kind of requirements, you're kind of branching out and taking courses that aren't business related. And in addition to that, at Santa Clara, every student is required to declare what's called a pathway which is essentially four courses that are all, they all fall, fall under one umbrella of each pathway. So for example, my pathway is design thinking, um, and it just so happens that it corresponds with a lot of my business classes and they double dip, so to speak. But that being said, you can take a pathway, you can elect to take a pathway that um, lets you take courses that are in history as you're a, a business student. So there's a variety of ways that students can sort of branch out of the business school and take courses outside of their comfort zone. I'd also like to add that um, as a business student, you can also minor in anything in the School of Arts and Sciences. Um, and what's also great is that Santa Clara being a quarter school, you have a little bit more flexibility in, in adding a minor in, um, even double minoring. I know people who are double majoring and minoring, by no means do you have to do that, but it is nice to be able to add something that's just that, something that you're interested in um, besides business into your schedule. Awesome, thanks so much. And Marley, you might as well stay unmuted. I'm directing the next question to you. Um, so a student made a comment that, um, that he or she is noticing that the schedules that seem packed don't seem as packed as a high school schedule. So what differentiates the workload in college? Um, how, many, how much time are you spending studying or doing work outside of actual class time since you're not in class as often as a high school student? 
Yeah, I think that's a good question and definitely something to get used to after your first year. Um, it's a lot different transitioning from being in class in high school for eight hours and then going to college and being in class for only a little bit of time. Um, but I think a lot of what a lot of students find is that you kind of get in a rhythm of when you like to study. So for instance, you know, you'll take the mornings to go to the library or you'll take the evenings to go to the library um, and you'll kind of just allot specific times in your schedule for study times. Um, sometimes if you have a midterm or final, you'll, you'll decide that you need to take a full day or like evenings and mornings to do something. But for the most part, I think a lot of people will find their rhythm in deciding when they need to study um, and when they can have a bit of free time as well. Yeah, I'd like to add on to that a little bit. I think most of our schedules didn't show any of our like time that we'd study or do any homework. And that just varies depending on what's open that day. So there could be another few hours added on to each day. Usually there's not a day where you just don't work on like school or stuff. So that's always kind of factored in that we just don't put on the schedules. Thank you so much. Um, and again, actually, I'm coming to you, Sean. You guys are like reading my mind with who I'm calling on next. Um, so both Sean and Marina, I'm actually going to ask you this question. What um, either student traits or skills do you think benefit students in managing their workloads at Santa Clara and being a successful student in the Levy School of Business? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, well, I think like any student, but especially I think in the business school, because there are times where you're going to be taking classes that have a lot of rigor and, and coursework. Um, I think it's just important to, to know what you can handle and not necessarily, you know, compare your workload or your you know, study schedule to anyone else. Just take the classes that you have, talk to your professors if you think you need more help, go to office hours, um, and just make sure you're understanding the material for yourself and at a pace that you're comfortable with. Um, I really think that it's truly just kind of um, focusing on yourself and, and working hard. That's the best advice I could offer. I completely agree with that. I actually just recently felt like I was getting a bit overloaded with some of the stuff I was doing and started weaning off on a couple of obligations and that's really helped. So just having that self-awareness recognize when you need to make a change is really good. And then I think one of the most important things is everyone's gonna say it, is staying organized though. College is a lot more obligations that you have that you really need to keep track of. And that's the one thing that I felt like common to. And so I use Google Calendar a lot to track pretty much everything that I'm doing. And so keeping some kind of agenda or some kind of way for you to make sure you're organized is essential. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Anne Marie, and again, anyone else too, um, could you speak a little bit to uh, are business students able to study abroad? What other opportunities do they have to do that, that still work with the business curriculum? Yeah, uh, you can definitely study abroad. Um, I went abroad um, to Barcelona last fall, and I would say it's pretty common um, for people to want to go to abroad. It is a competitive process, um, so I would start looking up the study abroad website earlier rather than later, but it's definitely possible to do it. It actually usually doesn't put you behind, but it puts you ahead because um, most people go fall quarter and study abroad programs are semester programs. So you get one semester, but you miss one quarter, um, if that makes sense. So um, I'm still finishing early and I was able to go abroad. Thanks so much. Um, Marley, could you speak um, a little bit about student relationships with faculty? Um, how do you engage with faculty? Are they open outside of class time? Yeah, definitely. So I, my biggest advice is always to go to office hours. So every professor at Santa Clara in the Louis School of Business um, has office hours throughout their entire class period. So um, if you utilize those office hours, they will 100% be willing to talk with you, um, help you with problems, and also just get to know you on a personal level. I've had a lot of close relationships with professors. Um, for instance, the one that I'm doing research with right now. Um, I also had a women and gender studies professor from my um, first year for a cultures and ideas course that I had to take um, for, a for a core curriculum class. And I still keep in touch with her. Um, we get coffee sometimes. She's a little bit more of a mentor for me. Um, so it's definitely there for you if you take the time and put in the effort to build those relationships. Awesome, thanks. Um, and Sean, could you add a little bit more about what is it like being with faculty inside the classroom? What are class sizes like? Um, are they all the same style? Are they all just lecture? Is there hands-on learning? What's the classroom experience like? Oh, I mean, okay, so most classes are pretty small. We don't typically have more than like 20, like 30 students in classes, which is a lot smaller than most universities. Um, I'd say most professors are pretty hands-on. Like they, they like to engage the class a lot. I wouldn't say I've had many professors that are like boring or not helpful. Um, I'm not sure. I've always had all around good experiences, professors. I don't know if anyone else has any more comments on, on their experiences in the classroom, but 
uh, I've generally had a very good time. Sounds like everyone else is in agreement about good experiences with faculty. Um, that's always nice to hear. Um, Marina and Anne-Marie, I'm gonna to toss this question to you. So there's a lot of questions coming in about internships on campus. So any tips you could share on what it's like to get an internship on campus and how early students can start taking advantage of that opportunity? Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I think it's generally most common for students to have um, an internship the summer after their junior year. And for, yes, summer going into senior year. That being said, there definitely are cases where students have internships every summer. Um, but usually the one after junior year is kind of the one where they're hoping they get a job offer. Um, but in regard to, you know, finding internships and actually applying and hopefully getting accepted, in my experience, it really has just been utilizing the resources that we have at our disposal, that being Handshake, which is um, a platform that all Santa Clara students have access to where companies often post listings for job openings or networking opportunities. Um, in addition to that, LinkedIn is always great. Um, I found out through my, I found out about my internship that I'm having next summer with Apple through LinkedIn. Um, and luckily one of the recruiters went to Santa Clara and she was really amazing and she kind of na helped me navigate through the application process. So we really do have a great network um, of alumni also, which I think is really great to tap into if you're looking for internships at specific companies. Yeah, um, I would just reiterate a lot of the same things. Marina's going into the internship next summer that I just wrapped up, which is kind of fun. Um, but kind of like her, uh, I think there's a couple things that are important to remember. I think one of them is planning ahead. So I interviewed and accepted my offer for the internship at Apple um, in June of my sophomore year. And then I took the internship, um, started it in June of my junior year. Um, so I think planning ahead is super important. Um, like Marina, LinkedIn is actually what really helped me get it um, because I was friends or connected with someone on LinkedIn that was a Santa Clara grad and she was doing what I wanted to do. She was working at Apple and she was doing finance. Um, so I just reached out to her and Broncos help Broncos. It's, it's a real thing. It's not just something we say. And so she helped me with preparing for interviews and um, helping me get ready for it. So. That's my two cents on internships. It was my first main one. The other jobs I had in the summer were just up in Seattle, fun jobs. Um, so don't stress if it's summer after your sophomore year and you don't have an internship. I would like to point out really quickly the amount of resources that Santa Clara gives you. There are general career fairs, there are accounting career fairs, finance career fairs. There's the uh, career fair office. You can talk to alumni for internship job where professors are a great place, faculty and stuff. They can maybe have an opening or give you some advice on things. Um, some people are in like the lead program and the honors program. There's also avenues through them to maybe help you out. There are so many different ways that like you can go and look for an internship. Your biggest thing is just like use those resources. So, Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Marley, so, and again, any of you can jump in on this question, but a really interesting question that came in is how do you think the Greater Santa Clara mission is integrated specifically into the Levy curriculum? That's a really good question. Um, I think that a lot of our core classes um, touch on the mission, but I'd also like to add that a lot of my, specifically my Levy School of Business classes have also touched on the mission of Santa Clara. So for instance, um, my business 179 class, which is a business and uh, business communication class, um, I actually worked pretty closely with a non the Silicon Valley Council of Nonprofits again um, in a consulting project. And so I think whenever business professors have the opportunity um, to integrate social justice work or nonprofit work into the curriculum, they do so. Um, that being said, it is also really possible to pair a lot of your business classes with a lot of classes in the core curriculum that have a very explicit um, explicit application of the mission as well. Awesome. Thanks so much. Um, Marina, what are your thoughts on, is the environment at Santa Clara more competitive or collaborative? I think in my experience, and I hope it's every other student's experience, it's definitely been collaborative. Um, I've never felt, you know, that quote unquote cutthroat environment where everyone's like out for themselves and no one's willing to help. Um, if anything, I think oftentimes the classroom setting is, is oriented more toward collaborative work and students helping one another um, and making sure that everyone is understanding the material. 
I've never encountered a class where I asked someone next to me, what just happened? Or what did she say? And they looked at me wrong or, you know, didn't, weren't, didn't have a willingness to help. So I think within the business school as a whole, it's a really great community of, of students who are all striving towards something individually, but that being said, are willing to help each other um, out, out along the way. I'd also like to add to that, that a lot of my business classes are group work focused. Um, so even in my more technical classes like accounting um, or statistics, I've had a lot of group work. So I think that that naturally gets you know drilled into us that when you're doing group work that you're in it as a team, um, you want everyone to do well in your group. Um, and that environment is kind of translated into, into individual work as well. I can't tell you how many times I've you know, had a group work and then we all study for the midterm together the next week or all study for the final together for the next week. So I think that environment just naturally gets embedded into us through the business school. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Anne-Marie, could you tell us a little bit about the four plus one program offerings at Santa Clara if students are interested in getting their MBA also at Santa Clara? Yeah, um, so we have three four plus one programs that you can do um, and it's pretty straightforward, it's how it sounds. You do undergrad for four years and then you spend one more year here to get your master's. Um, I also saw a question in the chat about if we're doing it. Um, I personally am not doing it. I saw another question about if we plan to do it. Right now I don't plan to get my master's. Um, I think a lot of that though is just because that I'm planning to return to Apple next year um, and that's just not something that I need to do right now. But that's not to say that it's not something people do. Anyone else, does anyone else have any comments on their personal thoughts after the um, program, the Levy program at Santa Clara? Okay, no worries. Um, so a question that I'm going to um, kind of pose to all of you, and I'll start with Marley and Sean, and then we'll move to uh, Marina and Anne-Marie, but what about Santa Clara or specifically the Levy program drew you in? Why did you end up applying and choosing to go the Levy route? That's a good question um, and something that I I think we all touched on a bit, but for one, I loved the small class size environment of the Levy School of Business. Um, I also loved the fact that I was able to make relationships with a lot of my professors and they were all willing to do so. Um, a lot of professors in the Levy School of Business have had direct experience in the Silicon Valley and in business in general. Um, so that's great for network building and just relationship building. I'll give you one example. In my Business 179 class, again, my professor, in the beginning um, had us write in our um, top 10 favorite companies that we'd wanna work at. And then at the end of the semester or the quarter, he gave us back this Excel document and had put in a list of all the people he knew who worked at these companies and their email addresses. Um, so he was willing to give us his contacts and his network um, to reach out to these people and see where it could lead us. So I really think that that environment of being able to network and meet people who have had experience in the business world is what directly drew me into the Levy School of Business. Um, additionally, I loved the mission of Santa Clara in general and thought that, you know, attending a business school at a university that was so committed to social justice work um, was something that I was really interested in, very, something that I thought was very important. Um, I was just thinking about it. The, it's pretty daunting going to college, right? Being for the first time as a freshman, there's a lot of uncertainty. You don't really know what you're doing. And when I did that with Santa Clara, I had a lot of questions. I was very confused about a lot of stuff. And Santa Clara's faculty, and by, especially within the business school, were some of the most helpful and like resourceful faculty I've ever met. I had been talking to other colleges when I was applying and stuff. And comparatively, they just were like, you know, every other college was not helping me out nearly as much as Santa Clara was able to do. This might be a little biased, but... I think that since the fact that we do have smaller class size and smaller school in general gives us the ability to really work like one on one with students and the faculty and really help them out. And I was able to just get everything I need, all the information I needed from Santa Clara without much of a hassle. And that was really great. And so I've loved that about Santa Clara so far. It was a big tipping point for me. Thank you both. And then Marina and Anne Marie. Yeah, I think both Marley and Sean kind of touched on the points I would want to make as well. I think it's you no. Know, um, it's very obvious that we're in the heart of the Silicon Valley, um, and that was something that really drew me into Santa Clara, especially as a business student. I knew coming in I wanted to be a business student. I didn't know what I wanted to major in, but I knew I'm not really in like the STEM field. I, I know I want to do business, and so I kind of just went from there, um, and the Silicon Van Valley was definitely where I wanted to be. 
But in addition to that, I wanted to um, go to a college where I knew I could form community. And that being said, I immediately felt that when I stepped on campus, even as a prospective student, um, you could just see people, they knew each other. Santa Clara, I always like to say, it's a small enough school where you don't know everyone. You know, it's not like high school where you kind of recognize people, um, but you kind of see the same people in your classes. And that's sort of a comforting feeling for me. Um, and it's something that I've really enjoyed throughout my two and a half years now. Yeah, um, I think for me, when I came to Santa Clara, I'd never taken a business class in high school. My high school didn't have electives. Um, so I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know if I would stick with business. Um, so if that's you, that's fine too. Um, and because I went to such a small school, community was super important to me. Um, the people I graduated with were like my family, literally, because you love them, but you also hate them. And so for me, Santa Clara has that sense of community that I was looking for. And then I thought I wanted to go business and I figured if I do, I want to be in the Silicon Valley um, because I think that's going to be the best opportunity for me post-grad. Um, it's worked out. I think I was right about being in the Silicon Valley is the right place to be. And it just so happened that I did really like business. Awesome, thanks so much. Marley, could you tell us a bit more about the ACE program that you had mentioned earlier? Yeah, definitely. So the ACE program is an accelerated cooperative education program um, and you can apply to it your freshman year or your first year. Um, and it's basically a, uh, an organization of students who get together every other Tuesday. Um, and we have workshops on resume building, um, professional skills, how to get an internship, things like that. Um, we also do a few retreats throughout the year. So we, sophomore year, we did a Santa Cruz trip where we did this like ropes course and team building and things like that. Um, I, what I really love about the program is that I've learned a lot from it, technical, like professional skills wise, but I've also felt that it was a really great community of people. So for instance, whenever I walk into a class and I see another member of ACE, um, we always sit next to each other. We always are in the group, do group work together. I know we have similar drives and care a lot about school. So it's really nice having a buddy um, in classes like that and being able to see people around campus who are in, in that sort of community. Thank you. And Sean, could you talk a little bit more about um, the business oriented fraternity and sororities on campus? Yeah, so we have two professional business fraternities. It is AK Psi, which I'm part of, and DSP. Um, they are affiliated with the university, unlike the social frats, which are not affiliated with the university, which means that we can have our functions on campus, like host meetings or certain celebrations on the actual facilities that Santa Clara has. Um, it's a, it's a, it's pretty much like professional building, a lot of that. So we focus on a lot of same things that he's talking about, like resume building, um, interviewing LinkedIn profiles. Uh, um, and I, I found it extremely useful so far because our business attorney isn't just business people. It actually includes majors from all over um, the other like schools. And I think that's really helpful because business doesn't just include business people. You need a lot of other majors and people and disciplines in order to create business. And uh, uh, it's been such a blast being in that fraternity. Thanks so much. Marina, could you speak a little bit more about the Latinx Business Student Association and other groups like that on campus? Yeah, so um, the organization that I'm the co-president of, LBSA, is just one of many um, organizations on campus. We're definitely a business orient oriented one. Um, but in addition to us, there's an array of other ones. There's Women in Business, the Finance Association, Accounting Association. Um, those are just off the top of my head. But um, all across Santa Clara, there are hundreds of organizations that students can elect to be a part of. Um, and then a small subset of those are business oriented, which I definitely recommend for incoming students. It's a great way to get involved, meet new people, um, some of whom might be in your major, some of whom might not. Um, so yeah, I think that's always a nice balance to have sort of the business oriented clubs and the ones that are more social um, and maybe even, you know, hobby oriented. Thanks. And Anne-Marie, could you tell us a little bit more about specifically the Levy Scholars program? Yeah, um, so the Levy Scholars program is something that you're invited to based on your GPA. You'll be invited to it your sophomore year and you'll start taking classes your junior year. Um, so there's not really an application process. It's more just you're invited and either you accept or you don't. And then the benefit of being in the scholars program is um, that your classes are with other Levy scholars. So it kind of puts you in the top tier of students. Um, so you know that with group projects, they don't always go well, but usually in those classes, they go pretty smoothly. 
um, you also tend to get really, really great professors um, because it is a scholars class. So all of our press professors are really good, but there's always great ones. Um, so that's a perk of being in the scholars program. Thank you so much. Um, Marley, so it was mentioned how you can major in Levy, the school business, and have a minor in arts and sciences. Is it possible to do the reverse, be majoring in the College of Arts and Sciences and have a minor in the Levy School of Business? Yes, definitely. So you can do the switch. So you can be a major in arts and sciences and minor in something, something in business. Um, so that's for minors, but I would like to add that if you are in the business school, um, you can major in something in the arts and sciences school, but that doesn't go in reverse. So if you're in arts and science school and majoring in something, you can't automatically be able to major in business. So that's just something to keep in mind. But for sure, when you're in the arts and sciences, you can do a number of our business minors. So we have like international business, real estate, economics, MIS. Um, there's a few others in there, but you can definitely do something like that. And like I mentioned before, when you're in the business school, you can totally minor in anything in the School of Arts and Sciences. Thank you. And on a quick just admission tip, since I'm here representing the admission office as well, something for you all to know, and this was kind of touched on earlier, but just to be clear, when you choose to apply to Santa Clara, you can only apply to one school. So you have to choose the College of Arts and Sciences or the Levy School of Business or the School of Engineering. Now, it is possible to double major, but you can't list that on your application. So I would encourage you, if you are thinking of business or you think that you want to major in or have one of your majors in the Levy School of Business, apply directly to the Levy School of Business. As Marley mentioned, you can't automatically just pick up a major in business once you're already on campus. We want you to start in the School of Business, and then you can pick up other things in the College of Arts and Sciences along the way. Um, so we are getting near the end of time here. I am going to ask one last question to all four, same question to all four of my panelists. Um, just want to make a quick note to all of our guests. You guys really brought it with all the questions, some really great things popping up in the chat. Um, we did not have time to get to them all, but we will be sharing contact information so that you can continue that conversation. Also, the platform that you joined us with, which is called Bronco Exchange, allows you to ask these questions beyond open house. So you are just now a member of our Bronco Exchange platform. So we want you to keep up that engagement and keep asking us questions. So to all my panelists, and I'm gonna start with Sean and then I'll just kind of call you each in order. Um, and I'll give you a minute, Sean, to think of your answer. What are your tips for a student who is thinking of applying to Santa Clara specifically to the Levy School of Business? So think about, kind of reflect back on your own application process, where you were at when you were in high school, going through the application process or deciding where to apply and just share either one or a couple of your biggest tips that you would share with our prospective students. So yeah, Sean, when you're ready, we'll start with you. Oh, that's a big one. While, while you're applying. Um, I think like I, this is it's, and it's pretty vague, but I definitely think you need to stay open minded and open to changing your mind, because I know that when I first was applying to college and stuff, I thought I had like a dream school. Right. And these these ideas in mind and things will change very quickly and you have to be OK with recognizing that and adapting to it and uh, just know that like there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of built, like a lot of different opportunities out there and make sure that you're always thinking about like everything that you can do. Awesome, thank you so much, Sean. Marina, how about you? Yeah, I definitely agree with Sean. It's strange trying to go back in, um, back in time. Um, I definitely agree. I think it's important to um, just have, if anything, a list of major things that you want in a college and the rest will kind of just fall into place. I think it's really easy to get stuck on one or two, you know, um, colleges that you really think are the ones that you're gonna, you know, make or break. If you don't go there, your life is over. And I was one of those people, um, but that's truly not the case. I think as long as you find it an institution that, you know, holds the same values as you and has opportunities where you can grow, I think you'll find that you'll definitely find success there, um, whether it was, you know, your first choice or, or not. Thank you. Anne-Marie? Yeah, um, I think for me, I wanted to come to Santa Clara since I was like a sophomore in high school, um, but I didn't visit until I was a junior or senior in high school. Um, I know that might not be possible right now, but I think there's a way to visit Santa Clara um, without actually coming here. If you can come here, if you're in San Jose, if you're in San Francisco in the Bay and you can visit campus, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if not, I would talk to students because 
what made the difference for me was visiting and meeting the students here. And I mentioned community was really important to me. And it took me 30 seconds to realize that these were good people. There was, for example, I was on my tour and I showed up in finals week, which isn't a great time to come. I don't recommend it, but it's when I was here. And I heard two students talking and they said, how'd your exam go? And one of them said, oh, I failed it. And they're like, it's all right, let's go get lunch. And so it's like that community where no matter how bad your day might be, you have people to lift you up. Um, and I think my second piece of advice is be your own person and think about yourself. Um, I mentioned I went to a small high school. There were 60 of us that graduated and a third of my school went to University of Washington. And I applied to University of Washington after I was already accepted here just because I felt like maybe I needed to go there. So don't worry about what the rest of your high school did. Don't worry about what your siblings did. You're your own person um, and pick the school that's right for you. Thanks so much. And Marley. Yeah, I would just like to say that school in the Levy School of Business is obviously extremely important. And it's something that I think everyone takes very seriously and tries their best in. Um, but I think it's also important to add that taking the time to find extracurriculars that make you happy um, and finding other areas in your life like friends, um, making relationship, relationships with professors, having finding time to do things that you like, kind of like Anne Marie was saying, she likes to go hiking, things like that is also equally as important. Um, I think Santa Clara breeds an environment where you can ask for help. Um, I've had a lot of time, not a lot of times, but a few times where, you know, school has been rough and I've just reached out to my professor and been like, you know, this is happening. Can I have a day extension or something like that? Definitely not a habit to get into, but just something to be aware of that your professors and all of the students around you are there to support you. Um, and school is very important, but I would say keeping in mind that you need to take care of yourself first. Um, and then everyone in there, everyone in Santa Clara is there to support you if you need that help. All right, well, we are at time. A huge, huge thank you to our four amazing Bronco panelists, you guys are so great. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences, your tips, all of the information. Um, I also want to mention that there is another business um, session for, as part of our virtual open house that's happening on Friday. And that's an overview of that business 70 course, which is a great thing to check out if you are considering studying, excuse me, in the Levy School of Business here at Santa Clara. Joanne, do you have any closing words for our students? Uh, no, just to say, well, I would just say again, thank you to the panelists, covered lots of great stuff, students, terrific questions, um, really looking forward to receiving your application, hosting you in terms of attending virtual classes, if that's a possibility and you're interested in that, we can make that potentially try to work, um, as well as connecting you with other students. So thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're joining us from. Um, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have a question that didn't get answered. You can either connect to your admission counselor who will redirect you to the School of Business or you can reach out directly to the School of Business. Um, and also check out that Bronco Exchange platform. You can connect one-on-one -on -one with students and ask specific questions there as well. So thank you so much for joining and hopefully I'll read your application soon.